Hey guys, it's episode 3 and it's called What Have I Been Up To? So I just want to say hello to all the new subscribers and people that added me on Facebook and Instagram uh, since that BBC article went out uh, about three weeks ago um, yeah there's been quite a lot of people adding me which is great and had lots of positive um, messages from lots of different people from all kinds of different backgrounds which is awesome so I wanted to do uh, this episode today um, it's probably going to be quite a long one because uh, it's been about probably a year since I've done my last video on YouTube um, I started my cane training, my cane training back in 2000, uh, 2018 in January um, and it's been quite a difficult transition, I'm still going through that transition um, I'm finding out lots of different issues and problems with the white cane but obviously there are some positives that go with the white cane um, but yeah it's been a lot of uh, adjusting uh, processing and um, just just a lot of different changes really and I'm just kind of adapting to this new way of life yeah I mean I'm not gonna lie it's been really really difficult and I guess this is why I want to do these videos because I want to share um, that information with you because I'm quite confident that I'm not the only one that's feeling like this when it comes to dealing with blindness and all these changes um, I can't be the only one feeling like this so and I think this is probably why it's um, taken me a while to start doing videos because I didn't really know how I wanted to do these videos I didn't really know what to say that's a lie I knew what I wanted to say but I didn't really know how to articulate it or if I really wanted to say all those things that are in my mind but after you know reading so many other people's different stories uh, people that have um, visual impairment or blind um, I kind of felt there was a lot of similarities um, that people feel regarding um, the white cane and blindness so I felt for me that it's time to start talking start sharing um, because I think you know by sharing is the only way that we're going to be able to um, kind of change the perspective about blind people by doing these videos I think it could help um, somebody that may work with a colleague that is blind or somebody in the family being recently diagnosed um, with blindness and they want to know some information or some background this is for anyone who wants to learn or um, have a better understanding about blind people because I still think in this day and age blind people are still um, not really part of society you still don't see people blind people people with a white cane on TV so it's like we're invisible and don't really exist and I really want to change that. I'm kind of fed up with it, to be honest. It's definitely hindered my progress in life, um, dealing with blindness, because I just felt that I've got nobody to relate to. Um, and in the media world, you know, we look to people or aspire to be like other people. Um, it's just a, a natural thing that we do. We all do it. And obviously I will talk about all this kind of stuff a lot 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 more in depth um, really talking about the actual feeling what I'm thinking um, how I'm, I'm going about it how I'm trying to change it so like I say today is gonna be just a brief catch up and just saying hello so what have I been up to um, apart from dealing with uh, all the changes with the white cane I had this wonderful article that come out about three weeks ago um, by the BBC 
and uh, it was written by this journalist called Charlie Jones or Charlotte Jones I just want to say thank you Charlie for writing that uh, article it was very positive and um, it was definitely helpful for me in moving forward and opening up and talking about my blindness and my isolation and my depression um, yeah I mean I'm going to be talking about all this kind of stuff again in much more in depth in other episodes but the article went out and um, it was amazing I had lots of different people getting in contact and I had uh, a couple of nice jobs that come out of it which I was uh, glad to do one in particular was uh, a couple of weeks ago I was asked to photograph uh, a protest in London outside the High Courts and this was for um, the disability cuts for children um, and there was, it was about shutting down schools, help, assistance so there was a big protest about that and, um, and I was asked to photograph the protest and they wanted um, it to be kind of in line with the Martin Luther King um, protest back in 1968 for the sanitation workers. It was all to do with the I am protest. So instead of being I am a man, it would be uh, I am a child with a voice, I am um, somebody with disabilities, I am the help, etc, uh, etc. Et so um, it looked really cool and um, there's lots of amazing people there. Um, I took up my new assistant, Chloe Stock, who did a bit of filming and some photography for me. Um, I spent uh, about two, three hours up there um, and managed to capture lots of cool protest photos, which uh, I've already shared on Facebook, so you can check those out. And these photos are basically for future media uh, campaigns for them so they can continue to protest about these cuts and, and so they should. It was a great day, um, yeah pretty stressful you know it's, it's hard you know being blind and trying to do photography and the trouble is a lot of people think you know I'm a fully sighted person because my eyes you know look normal you know I look like a normal person uh, <laughs> um, whether I'm sound in the mind that's debatable but my eyes as you can see they look normal um, I might have to put my sunglasses on in a minute because the uh, the light is a bit sensitive but um, I want to keep my sunglasses off because I want you to see you know what my eyes look like you know we need to change this idea of what a blind person is you know there's all different variations of blind people there are people with total sight loss people with partial sight loss people with severe sight loss so there's different um, variations you know there's everyone's got a different way of handling their condition um, I know there's a few hundred different types of um, blindness so even I don't know what they all are. Um, I can only tell you about retina pigmentosa type 2, which is what I have. And again, I will do an episode um, showing you what it is that I see visually. Um, because sometimes trying to explain it to someone is quite difficult. So um, I think if I can show you visually, um, it will give you a better idea of what it is that I see um, and also I want to talk about you know the the ups and downs of my eye condition I mean I'm going to be honest there's a lot more downs um, you know I suffer from headaches eye headaches on a daily basis you know that basically makes me very grumpy and um, because I'm just constantly having headaches and it just basically makes everything a lot more difficult. I mean, being 95% blind is difficult as it is, but having to deal with the headaches as well and the eye strain, um, 
you know, it, it's very tiring and I get very exhausted um, often very quickly um, I have to spend a lot of time recuperating so I know a lot of people think, you know, I'm living this amazing, wonderful life and everything's all hunky-dory and I haven't got a care in the world I can tell you now, that's not true um, I try my best to be positive um, doesn't always work but um, I try to be as positive as possible and and when I'm not positive you know allow myself to be down allow myself to be um, upset because I feel I'm entitled to be upset you know I don't blame anyone for my eye condition um, in my eye. Um, I don't blame anyone for my eye condition. It's nature, and nature gives us some big challenges in life. And this is my challenge in life. And I guess this is why I want to talk about it more because I feel if I can talk about it, it's going to help me have a better understanding or better way of dealing with it but like I say you know I'm going to talk about this a lot lot more in other episodes in much more detail um, like I say you know there's so many things I want to talk about so and I just realized that my battery is about to die yeah the other the other job that I did um, was again for another media campaign and this was shot and photographed at the Festival Hall in London. Um, you know, I met this guy who had a very tragic story to tell and um, I won't go into it too much. Um, but um, I was asked to photograph him and um, I started photographing him inside the Festival Hall and uh, got thrown out. Because uh, we weren't allowed to be photographing in there, but um, seems to be the way with photographers and photography jobs. Uh, it's probably one of the reasons why I started doing photography because there's a slightly rebellious side to photography. Um, so yeah, we got thrown out, but I ended up continuing um, photographing him outside, and that's where I've got most of my shots. Um, yeah, it was a great day. In order for me to do these videos, there's only one way I can do it, and that is to be completely open and honest with you. And you know, sometimes they're going to be quite depressing videos, and I'll explain why. Um, because I think if I can share that with you, it's going to help other blind people. Or if you are watching me right now and you have an eye condition and you're dealing with all these problems, I think by sharing this information. I think it's going to make you feel just that little bit less alone. Also, knowing that I'm not the only one feeling like this. Um, could I often feel like it's just me that feels all these problems. Um, and so I'm often inspired by other blind people. Um, you know, and they help me. They're helping me right now to try and have a better grasp understanding and maybe some better form of management in handling blindness because it's it's hard it's, it's difficult it's not easy um, and I think that's the thing that I don't want to do is to put only positive stuff out and only talk about all the positive things because I think it's misleading um, and I don't want to mislead anyone um, I want to be truthful as possible so before the battery runs out um, future episodes what's going to be coming up talking more in depth about the white cane experience um, other episodes uh, I'm going to show you and talk about what my actual eye condition is 
which is RP type 2, retina pigmentosa, or Usher syndrome. Um, I'm going to do an episode on that. I'm sure that there will be other um, jobs or events that I'll be doing. And I'm sure that, you know, I'm going to be talking about that as well. So, anyway, this is just uh, touching base, saying hello to everyone. I'll speak to you soon.